Hi, so what I got here is a few sink basin drying racks here, and they come in pretty handy. So here I have two sizes, the large one and the smaller one, and I'm going to give you the dimensions later. I want to show you the functionality and uh, you know some of the fit on the particular sinks. So this is the bigger one, which uh, you'll notice has a wide, <laughs> obviously it's a little bit wider. So if I put this side by side, you can actually see how much wider it is. And that little extra bit of space actually fits a lot more. So you'll see the smaller one here. And let me just zoom out and show you side by side. So the smaller one here uh, does fit a li very limited number of dishes. And you'll see that I have a mug there, you know, just as a reference uh, of the estimated size. And right here, the smaller one, you'll notice that the holes on one side is actually an inch and a quarter. And what happens there is that, you know, the bottom will stick out. So it's not necessarily a strainer unless you're using it for, you know, large vegetables or large uh, fruit. Uh, I think of it more as a drying rack, drying rack. And this is handy for me simply because it gives me two levels. You know, lots of times you're still washing stuff in the bottom here and it's going to be a little bit dirty. So you want it to be elevated, which is what makes this handy. But also when you're drying, you know, there's also aerated in the bottom as well as at the top. So it'll dry a little bit faster when you're hand washing. So I find this to be pretty handy when I'm washing on this side and basically drying on this side, especially uh, for, you know, the tiny little things. Now for the bigger things, I would, you know, go through towards the, basically the dishwasher here. But for hand washing, this really comes in pretty handy. Now, um, you'll notice here that the edges are actually right along the side. And they actually, they actually fit pretty well. Now, the bigger one actually has a thumb screw, which allows it to be a little bit stronger. And, you know, you're, you're not going to be able to knock it and shrink it. Whereas the smaller one is not necessarily that way. So, so you notice, you know, once you push it, you know, it shrinks. So the way, and let me try to demo this with one hand here. Now, the way I expand it so that it fits, let me, let me show it this way first, so that it fits the sink, you'll notice it's still a little bit loose and it just slips down like that. You know, and this smaller one does not have a thumb screw, which, which makes it, you know, a lot looser. Now, if I tighten it like that, you know, it fits right along the edge there. You can see how it sits right along the edge, but there's also a big gap here. And surprisingly, you know, if I shake it around, it, it does have a fairly decent staying power. Now, let me try that again and show you. You know, normally, in normal use, when you have it extended like that, it's not going to fall down too much. <laughs> like, like here, you know, with the dishes, you, you see how it's still pretty solid. And of course, if I really wanted to, I could shake it a little bit and have it uh, fall off. But it's actually pretty stable. Despite there being a wide gap here and a gap there, it does just overhang it by, you know, a little bit over a little bit under actually a quarter inch but it seems to work out fine now you'll notice here I do have it placed like this so you know I, I could have it in this orientation when I'm washing and then drying the dishes here um, and once again this would be a lot better if it was you know a granite countertop and the uh, corners were a little bit uh, squarish um, you might not want to get this if you feel like the corners are not squared, squared off, in which case it would just take more room. Now I'm gonna spread this out here and show you this, this angle, you know, where it's, it's a little bit tighter <laughs> and just have to spread this out more just to show you here. Um, but it is pretty stable. I think one thing you might want to do is actually add a clip on this side so that it doesn't shrink as easily or that it pushes out. Um, now this one, ironically, it is a little bit more stable because during the delivery, this is bent. So because it's bent, 
the shrinking uh, takes a little bit more force. Uh, now, you do want to be a little bit more careful and not have it all of a sudden fall down. So that's the risk of this. But then again, if you have it in a really fixed position, you can use kind of construction adhesive and, you know, kind of slip glue in there and, and really have this uh, pretty much, um, you know, in one set position. Now, uh, I do want to say that it doesn't come perfect. It, you see that spot right there, you know, all of them had some level of, you know, glue that seems to be sticking out and, and have like uh, that type of blemish. Uh, the stainless steel rods are pretty decent. This is actually pretty light. It's actually pretty light. I, I would say it's less than, it's less than a pound. So let, let me put it back on here and zoom in so you could see the rods. They do look like stainless steel. I've dried some dishes on this thing and it hasn't rusted yet for about a week. So I think that's a pretty decent sign. And now let me show you the dimensions. So for, this is for the smaller one. So for the smaller one here, you can see it's about five and three quarters, the inside width. And so if I maximize this, so if I maximize this here, so that there is, you know, n nothing in the middle like that. And I expand out my, uh, my tape measure. You'll notice the inside diameter is actually about 16 inches. So that's the inside diameter. So, so anything smaller, it'll fit. And the outer diameter, I mean the outer width. So if I put the, the outer width is that measurement right there. So now for the bigger one, the bigger one here, put this back down, the width for this bigger one, the inside width, It's nearly eight inches for the inner width. It's like seven and, and three quarters of an inch. And if I loosen this right here, loosen the thumb screw. And once again, the smaller ones do not come with a thumb screw, unfortunately. So right here, I have that expanded out. And now the inner width. The inner width is actually smaller than the previous one. It's 15 and three quarters of an inch. And this is about an inch on each side. So it's about 17 and three quarters of an inch for something that overhangs. And once again, for me to set it down like that, and give you the full picture here. So th that is the difference between the smaller one and the bigger one. But that's really it. That's uh, kind of what I wanted to show. And uh, you know, actually, let me go ahead and go around so you you can kind of see how it works. So so the way this works is when it's expanding, the rods on this side alternate with the rods on the other side. So if I'm shrinking it, you could see how it shrinks. Then if I expand it towards the, you know, the greatest width, the greatest width right here, it shrinks out like that. So that's how the um, rods work. Now, once again, the bigger one has this thumb screw. Now, just to show you the build on the side, it looks like this a little bit unexpected and on the side here give you the 360 view so this is just shrinking 
like so. So this would be also pretty useful if it shrunk down like this. Now in this case, you would be able to use it kind of as a, um, you know, fruit strainer or vegetable strainer. And now for this particular one, I want to show you the 360. And once again, the way, the way it shrinks, you know, as far as the alternating rods, you know, just to give you slowly the alternating rods and a 360 view right here 360 and then once again this is really really light and these are hollow rods by the way these stainless steel rods are hollow as, as you could see by by this dented region right here during the during the delivery so I have two dented rods right there. All right, uh, I think that's really what I wanted to show. And let me demo this one more time, the expansion, the expansion itself. Um, and that's really it. That's really what I wanted to show. And I hope this helps. So uh, definitely please subscribe, support this channel, and thank you so much for watching. I'll show you the side by side view. I keep on wanting to end this video, but um, you know maybe it's best if I show you a side by side view here. So the depth, I, I forgot to measure the depth. Um, give you a sense of the depth here, which is, I want to say it's about two and a half inches. And actually it's about three inches. So, yep, it's about three inches. And you can see it here. It's at three inches. And that's the same for this bigger basin. about three inches. It's different on both sides, but it's about three inches. All right, there you go. I hope this helped and please subscribe and thank you so much for watching.